show you my entire shoe collection. My minimalist shoe collection, to me it's minimalist, and also going to declutter some shoes if I can get rid of any. Nothing too crazy, so without further ado, I'm just going to go through every pair of shoe I have with you guys, and while doing that, seeing if I can get rid of any and simplify my shoe collection even more. <laughs> Okay, so I figured I'd just quickly go through all of these um, with brands, too. These are Born Boots, and these are my absolute favorite. They're super comfortable. These are from Target, and they're super comfortable, too, surprisingly. They're one of my favorites. And then this last pair, these are Frankie 4 Boots, and they're a little bit nicer, but I'm still trying to break them in because they're still a little bit new. These are also from Frankie 4 and they're just like Oxford shoe. These are Vivea Ballet Flats, Steve Madden heels. These heels are from Target. And these are Spring Step Kitten heels, super, super comfortable. Um, if you can't tell, comfort in shoes matters for me. <laughs> these are Vejas and I love them. I wear these basically the most <laughs> along with my Birkenstocks. And then all three of these shoes are from that same company, Vivea. These are just like a black booty and then two of these little slingback heels. Birkenstocks, which I wear all the time. These, I think I got them from Marshalls or TJ Maxx and they are Cynthia Rowley, but super, super comfortable. Next are those slides. They got a little stain from wearing them to the beach. <laughs> and then, and these shoes are Antonio Milani, and I think I got them at Bon Mar. These are my Chacos for hiking, my running shoes, which are Brooks, and then Columbia hiking boots. Okay, so that is it. Okay, now on the floor with all of my shoes. So I figured I'd just show you each shoe in better detail and then declutter some because I think I have a few I want to get rid of and then there's a few I'm iffy on so let's get to it. These are my born boots. They're a little bit above the ankle. They don't really have much of a heel either but I can walk forever in these and I'm normally a person to get blisters so definitely recommend born boots. I think when I run through my other pair of boots I'll probably replace them with born boots because they are amazing. <laughs> And they also have this like super cute buckle. And those are Keep. These Target booties, um, they're just like a suede brown. And then they, they're like the Chelsea style, have a little bit more of a heel. But I can wear them all night long and I will still be comfortable. So 10 out of 10, a win for me. And I have wider feet, so I don't know. I feel like it's hit or miss. I normally want to buy Target shoes now because I'd buy more quality items. But I had to buy them last minute for, I think it was for a job. So that's why I have them. <laughs> These boots I've had for a while. I think I need to just try and wear them because they're not the most comfortable, but I'm gonna see if I can break them in and then maybe keep them. So that would be my goal this winter. If I don't wear these, then I'm going to declutter them. <laughs> Next are these boots from Vivea. I think that's how you say it. I don't know, they're cute, but I've had them for a couple years and I've not worn them. So these are gonna go. I think I'll probably just sell them on my Poshmark. These Frankie Four shoes. I think they're super cute and unique. I think this is like an Oxford style, but I really love it and it's nice because they're super breathable. So, and we live in Florida, so I don't want my feet getting hot <laughs> and it's nice to wear something other than sandals. So these are definitely a keep. Next are my Bejas. They're just a white sneaker. I need to give them a little bit of a clean because I wore them this past weekend, but I've honestly had these for a couple years and they've held up really well. And they're eco-friendly shoe company, so that's super awesome. But yeah, super durable. Definitely recommend Bejas. But I will say they're not the most comfortable, unfortunately. But that's the only sneaker I have that's not like a running sneaker. Next are these Vivea heels. And unfortunately, they're too big on me. So I think I'm going to have to sell or donate those as well. And I got those in two colors. So these are also too big on me. So they will also need to be donated or sold on Poshmark. Next are my Birkenstocks and I absolutely love these. I can't remember what exact style these are, but Birkenstocks are my all time favorite sandal and shoe. They are honestly the most comfortable and I love them. Like I think I'll own Birkenstocks for the rest of my life. Also, please ignore the breaker thing in the background. <laughs> Next up are these Vivea shoes. These are just ballet flats. I think they would look really cute with like a straight leg jean or something rather than wearing boots, but they're kind of in my maybe pile because I'm not sure if I'm a ballet flat person and 
I just don't know if it really fits my style still. It'd be good if I like went to work, but I work from home, so I'm not sure if they serve much purpose. Next, these are just my Steve Madden heels, this nude color, and the heel's not too tall, but I honestly love these. And for a heel, they're pretty comfortable and super versatile, and this color matches literally everything. Uh, next are my hiking boots. Keeping these, and they're super comfy. They're Colombian, I think we just got I think I got these at Dick's Sporting Goods, but yeah, the first time I wore them, no blisters. And that's a miracle for me because I'm blister prone. So I recommend Columbia hiking boots if you're in the market for any. And then these are my heels from Target. I'm not really sure what material this is. It's kind of like straw hat <laughs> material, but in heels. I just think they're super cute. And these are pretty comfortable too. Plus I love a wider heel for going out. I'm not really a heels person, so I prefer ones that are shorter and wider so they're easier to walk in, but these are super cute and another comfy pair from Target. Next are these little sandals. I just got these at TJ Maxx or Marshall, Cynthia Rowley, and by the way, I'm typically like a seven, seven and a half, and I have wide feet, so I look for shoes that fit that. <laughs> and these are just like a super versatile, strappy black sandal, which is a must, just because it'll match so many things. and. I'm trying to slim down my shoes, so I mean, I don't really have that many to begin with, but still, if I can get rid of a couple, I feel like that's successful and have more shoes that match a lot more things. Next are these white slides. These are just from Target. Not the most comfortable, but but I don't really have sandals right now that would be more of like nude neutral, that I could wear with like browns because I only have black sandals, so I need another color. So eventually I think I'll replace these, but for the moment, I think I'm gonna keep them. Just cause normally I wear them for like a dinner and then that's it. Um, spoke with Matt, he agrees. I probably won't ever wear these. So I think I'm gonna donate or sell them. But they're really comfortable. Uh, going back to the sandals, these little heels. These are really comfy and I don't know, they're just kind of different. I tend to wear pretty plain clothes, so I like this because it has like a little fun, funky pattern. So yeah, definitely keeping. And another small, super wide heel, which I love. Next up are these little black heels. And like I said, these are from Antonio Milani. I've had these for years. These are seven and a half and I think I got them at Avon Mar. But they're just like a black suede and perfect for like a nice occasion. And like I said before, I love small heels. So this has a really tiny heel. And yeah, pretty comfortable, can last the night in it and good for a formal event or you know even a date night since I don't have any other black heels. These are my Chaco sandals, super duper comfortable. I am not a fan of the color, but I bought this specific pair just because it was on sale and I don't really care what they look like because I'm just wearing these, you know, when I'm doing something active like walking or hiking, but yeah, Chaco's super duper comfy and I think they're worth the price. And then last but not least are my running shoes and these are the Brooks Ghosts. Super comfy, they feel like clouds. Anyways, I went to a running store and they do like a foot scan and these are the ones that fit me the most and my stride and all that best, so yeah. Love these, super, super comfy. Oh, Matt just told me this store was called Fleet Beat, so yeah. Super cool if you're interested in running or wanna get a better shoe for your feet, you could do that. I got rid of four pairs of shoes, so I feel like that's good. Okay, four pairs of shoes, gone. Still working on my shoe collection. And honestly, once I, you know, use up some of the shoes, like the Target ones, I'll replace them with better quality. But yeah, that's my minimalist shoe collection and a little declutter, got rid of a couple pairs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see any other video like this or any other minimalist video, let me know in the comments below. I love to hear you guys' ideas and suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video, bye.